A 43-year-old man with suspected PSC was admitted for ERCP. The patient had a history of prior ERCP with sphincterotomy. First of all, let's have a close look at the papilla. After accomplishing an optimal position of the duodenoscope, we see that the papilla shows separate orifices of the bile duct and the pancreatic duct. This is an important information before we attempt cannulation. In the presence of multiple stenoses, the biliary tree is best explored with a balloon catheter to obtain a selective occlusion cholangiogram of the different biliary segments. To this end, the bile duct is inserted with a balloon catheter. At the level of the distal common bile duct, the balloon is inflated halfway and we gently inject contrast. Look, the balloon perfectly prevents outflow of the contrast and allows to overcome the resistance of the sclerosed biliary tree. While the main bile duct only shows discrete irregularities, the intrahepatic ducts reveal significant alterations. To obtain a detailed look at the anatomy of the confluence, we have to rotate the fluoroscopy unit around the axis. Now we see a filiformis dominant stenosis of the left hepatic duct indicated by the black arrow. The intrahepatic ducts show the classic appearance of PSC. We see rarefication of intrahepatic ducts with areas of beading with strictures and dilation, indicated by white arrows. A repeated occlusion cholangiogram also identifies a short segment stenosis of the right hepatic duct as indicated by the black arrow. In the present case, the question of coexisting cholangiocarcinoma is troublesome as neoplasias are nearly impossible to distinguish from simple PSC strictures. In these cases, brush cytology might be helpful. Here we see the 25 mm long bristled brush that can be advanced over a guide wire and extended out of the sheath once it is positioned in the correct area. The device is inserted in the bile duct and advanced under fluoroscopic monitoring to the desired position. The opaque distal tip of the cytology brush is placed into the stenotic left hepatic duct. Then the brush is extended out of the sheath to brush the lesion and thereby scrape cells from the surface of the stricture for cytological examination. Afterwards, the brush is retracted into the sheath, withdrawn through the working channel and sent for cytological workup. Fortunately, evaluation of the brush cytology did not reveal any malignancy in our patient.